This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, folks. Valdemar back here with uh, part... I think I'm at part four of my Beyond... or Detroit Become Human playthrough. Like I said before, I'm not sure if I'm uploading this, but I probably should stop doing that and just assume I'm going to, and then we'll just figure it out from there. So I guess in the future I won't mention that, but... Uh, you know, this one seems to be, this playthrough seems to be a bit more laid laid back than my previous others, because I'm just kind of enjoying the sights, talking about what I feel at the time, and just kind of see what happens. And Anyway, last time we played as Marcus, walking through the park, apparently getting paint. Who knew what type of uh, scenarios you could get into with such a short scenario. Hopefully, I'll, I'll try to be, I guess, be a bit more efficient, but I'm still playing this as if I'm doing this at home, which I would just check everything out, so... Uh, so if you're looking for an optimal run or a quick run on this, if you're watching this, then sorry, this ain't going to be it for you. Sorry about that. But anyway, let's start on to part three and or chapter three or whatever and see who we play next or if we play an old character. That yeah, looks like we're playing as Kara this time, I, I assume. So the uh, lady who had been repaired from a previous damage and we're going to the shittiest part of town I see well no place like home am I right I mean it's not like I live in the greatest part of town either but you know it's you know, people live there not everyone's bad I mean from what I've heard all the rich are leaving these towns and oh we must open the door or master will hit us again Oh, it even says her uh, extra name on there on the back. It like flashed for about the briefest of seconds on her, on her serial number or whatever it is. So, yeah, join Todd. You coming? I'm coming. Well, I have to come. I'm, I'm, you're my master, right? Join, join Todd. I'm gonna join Todd. He looks gross. No, oh, anyway, I can't. We've been, we've been blocked by invisible programming. No, I hate invisible programming. Ew. Ugh, what is this? Let's see. Rebuilding North Cork Town. A better place to live. Right next to the worst part of town, huh? Probably doesn't smell too happy either. Wait, she like put her arms around her back if she waits too long? Like in a... Oh, yeah, in a submissive pose. <laughs> Join Todd! Asshole! Uh, I don't know why. The, just the big letter can say, Do it! What's wrong with you? Play the game! Hello, Master. Let us go inside. Man, how could this guy afford an android? It looks like... It must be cheap to have. That's crazy to think about that. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. Jeez, That's popped Alice. out of goddamn jack the box. Homework. Bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Basically, I'm a glorified maid, pretty much. Oh, good. I, I'm just like, how did this guy even like survive without a maid or anything like that? You know, just and how is he? How's he affording one? It looks like he can't afford crap. Anyway, let's check around. Credit card application form rejected. Ooh, this guy is in some debt. How's he affording us? Harmon Bank, yeah, past due, holy crap, like 5,000-something credits or something? Dollar redues? Wow. Apparently this guy is needing to make money. Like I said, I don't even know how he affords us, frankly. Well, anyway, let's do what he asked, I guess. Take out the trash. This is why I play games. Getting the trash! Ugh. Okay, where's, well, where's our trash? Oh, good. He eats out. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm so efficient. Yes, I am. Maybe. Depends on what All you right. Uh, kitchen counter. Luckily, the game kind of tells us where interactive things are, so we can kind of at least somewhat figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pizza is not the most healthiest thing to eat. I like pizza too, but I don't eat it all the time. Where's the other pot? No, oh, the coffee table. Oh, he's talking on the phone. What are we just talking about? Yeah, same place. You know, you know where. Yeah, man, this guy drinks a lot. You know, save yourself some money if you didn't drink so much. But what do I know? I was only taught to be thrifty by 
I had an accountant in the family, a grandfather, so he taught me how to be better with my money than the, your casual viewer, you know. I'm not saying an expert on it, I'm just saying, uh, you know, at least I, I'm a bit more aware of my money and intake and all that other stuff without, uh, without just spending on frivolous things, although that means, well, I've told you before, I don't, I don't have super high paying job or anything like that, so I, uh, Urgent test! Took out the trash! I'm epic! Is there anything else to do out here? Other than go back inside. Oh, looks like time kind of freezes when you do this, so you're not... Oh, what's that? I oh, just kind of looking around. Yeah, bus. Yeah, I guess androids are so plentiful in this world that, uh... That even the, uh... The poorer ones can uh, afford it. At least that's what it seems like. Unless this guy took out a shit ton of loans to to afford me or something like that, and to fix me after I got apparently got busted. Fuck, man. Report to Todd. Was well, there other things to do before we report to Todd? It said something really quick. What does it say? Uh, optional task: collect dishes, activate vacuum cleaner, clean the backyard. Yeah, might as well. Oh, there's the child. Hello, human child. You are worthless. I mean, yes, you, you are. Okay, anyway. Yeah, might as well do all the tasks. Why not? This is why I play video games, right? To do things in real life. Yay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I mean, if you play, if you played a, if you played a, uh, um, uh, if you played a Quantum Quan Dream games before at least Heavy Rain, this is clearly... Who's breathing heavily? Dishwasher not working. Missing components. Oh, good. Order processing. Wait, does he even have the money to afford components? I guess we're allowed to because it's it's a uh, it's a um, wait. I have to actually. Oh, it's one of those games we have to. That's right. I think Every Rain had something like this too. <sighs> Maybe I should just go into my own kitchen and start cleaning my own dishes. Would that make me feel better about myself? <laughs> Jeez. I make fun, I know, I know. Don't look at me, kid, that's creepy. Oh, human child, stop looking at me like that. Are you smiling? Do you have Nah. You're just a you're just a droid or android or whatever. You're Crichton in the female form. God, I haven't watched Red Dwarf in forever. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. He wants a beer! Worthless human, I mean, master. There's only one beer left, dude. Make sure it's not all shook up. That would suck. Here is your beer, master. I put down your beer for you. Drink it. It's got my piss inside. Oh. Is that an actual hockey game? Huh. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Oh, wow. Apparently looking at stuff gets you... Get you... Uh, get you uh, uh, yelled at. Jesus, Todd, calm down. I'm already doing the work more than you've ever done in your whole life. What do you even do for work, you know? Do you, do you, even, do you even do... Dude, do you even bench pro, bro? Okay, he doesn't want to look. Wait, what does it say there? Oh, the, the, he has a Roomba? How how are you affording all this stuff? Uh, oh, that kid's gotta be autistic or something. That, there's no way that a. Alice! You better stop that right now! Either that or her dad doesn't help her out, like, at all. So. Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing. You... Let me guess. The mom died prematurely or she left because you were an asshole. Why are guys always asshole in these stories? I mean, I'm not saying there aren't in real life. I'm just saying, can you change it up just a little bit? Just, just once in a while. You know, just... Actually, I don't, I don't mind that much. I'm just... I'm one of those that, that I don't mind tropes and 
typical things because a lot of it's based in real life but every once in a while i don't mind if they maybe someone changes up the story a bit you know in terms of like certain things uh, okay so we can go back inside what else we can do we can check whatever that is and then obviously take down the laundry i assume we can only do so much stuff before todd gets wants us to like make dinner or something like that Yeah, be careful. Don't want your androids being too curious. Because you get yelled at by your humans. I mean, you already got pissed at that we were watching the hockey game. Although he's not a very fun fellow to begin with, so. Alright. Let's get the laundry done. Da da. Lollipops and rainbows every day. And this guy's got no coordination of his clothing. Hello, you, my child. Where? Where can you rewash the laundry? I guess I have to go inside to do that. Eee. I've got a job to do, and the master will get pissed off of me, so, yeah, it's... I'll talk to her later if she wants to, but uh, we've, got, we've got a job to do. We don't want to get beaten with a bat again or something. Well, who knows what happened. I have a pretty good idea what happened to her last time, but I'm not going to say anything. Well, I mean, I will eventually, but... Alright, well, does this thing actually work? I guess we'll find out. Actually, maybe I should have kneeled with her because wasn't the, uh... Wasn't our job to, uh... Watch the kid, too, or something like that? What are you looking at? Okay. Oh. Um. Okay. Red ice. Uh, uh, I assume that's a drug. Whoa, dude. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry. Doc. I was doing the fucking laundry. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Dude, I was doing the fucking laundry. What did you want from me? God, you really gotta calm down. I've noticed that, like, her headpiece changes colors depending on her mood or what's happening. So if, if she's active, she's blue. If she's in, like, caution status, it's, like, yellow. And then if she's, like, in either danger or shutdown mode or something like that, she turns red. I wonder if the machines send off, like, uh, signals, like, if they're getting messed with, like, by people, like, will certain people, like, cops or someone come by and stop them from doing that, that type of thing. I guess we're done. Because we went outside and we already checked what that is, and I, I doubt we can go outside anymore, yeah. See, we're supposed to check on the kid, right? So I guess we'll, uh, so what's on the... Okay, what's that? Ooh. All Sports Almanac. They say the Cubs are going to win in 2012. Or, was that the year? Anyway. All Sports. Uh, Detroit's hockey dominance continues. Android Power! Should it be outlawed? Oh, like outlawed players? Well, it depends. If they're all uh, androids, fine. But playing androids against with humans? Uh, that's a risky... That's a... That's a debate for another day. Uh, football Friendly. The latest transfer speculation. Alright, let's read. Hopefully Todd doesn't get too pissed off at this. Android Power should be outlawed. Is it, it In its third game of the season, Android Pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke the 120 miles per hour mark. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until after the ball had already reached the catcher's glove. Androids were introduced as once one per team innovation, but they've come to dominate team strategy. Every draft sees the major professional baseball teams breaking their own transfer records to purchase the latest Android models. But is the game suffering? I would think so. Because now it's all about the equipment. No, that's not what I did. I pressed down on the touchpad. No, I didn't do... What the hell, game? I am pressing down. Okay, watch. Okay. Oh, you can't watch me because there's no... No face camera. Okay. Down. There you go. 
Uh, Jenny Waterfield, head of fanzine, Home Run, says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sport is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. But not everyone agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball pundit and ex-pitcher, thinks androids are making the game more exciting. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do even better. This game can only survive by evolving. I guess if you got the challenge, but I mean the human human experience can, or human evolution can only go so far, I think, before we become something different. I don't know. Century, the transport and innovation that's shaking up California, connecting the dots. La la la, connect the dots. Politics and, and focus. Are American senators really corrupt? Yes. China's earthquake since t- killed ten thousand. If they're not corrupt, they're they're focused more on on uh, investors and uh, or not investors. Um, um. Uh, oh, what's the word? No, I. Pr- Gabe, <laughs> my touchpad is not broken. Okay. Okay, there we go. Connecting the dots. Connecting the dots. The transport innovation that's shaking the cow. Up California. The new subtube completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA in order in under two hours, less than half the five hour flight time. The top speed of eighteen hundred miles per hour is made possible because the tube travels through a depressurized chamber, providing an near frictionless environment of its magnetized motors. For computers or commuters that raises the tantalizing prospects of finishing the long shift in the big apple and putting your feet up in the Golden Coast. Huh. I think they tried to do something that modern day, but we still don't have the... I mean, we still have trains and stuff like that, but nothing as efficient as stuff in, like, countries like Japan and stuff like that. Uh, uh, California's property markets are reacting. Suburban prices have skyrocketed 64%. L.A. realtor Charlene Lowe says she knows where the new buyers are coming from. They're East Coast types, specifically New Yorkers. Ah, yeah, damn New Yorkers. They see a chance to keep that in the New York salary... Yeah, New York City salary while enjoying the L.A. lifestyle, and they're scrambling over each other to take advantage. Real estate isn't the only thing shaking up. School uh, school places are rapidly filling, and suburban retailers are racking up prices in anticipation of all those New York dollars flooding in. Long-time Californians are expecting to be pushed out from the cities, which is why they've been protesting the new line. As one angry demonstrator put it, first Detroit takes our jobs, then New York takes our homes. When's it going to end? I've heard of issues like that in certain cities where people try to move into it and it kind of changes, like, prices of housing and all that other stuff because the new money's coming in. All that other stuff, so. Hello, Alice. Hello, human child. I am here to watch you and take care of you and be creepy. Toy. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? Well then, it was nice talking to you, kid. We should do this again sometime. Can we actually go upstairs or? Probably not. Nope, clean downstairs. I think we've done everything that we can interact with, so let's talk to Todd. Awesome Todd. Okay, yeah, if you're not in a certain area, you can get. All right, we finished it. I guess upstairs is next. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Jesus, calm, calm your tits, dude. Although you've already got some big tits already, so, you know. Alright, let's go upstairs. I always wanted to be a maid, and now I'm living the dream. Wait, can I go upstairs? Come on. Am, am I supposed to push the button to do that? I don't... Okay, I'm supposed to clean... There we go. Why was I going upstairs? I was like walking around, not actually activating the uh, the upstairs. Ooh, the outside world. That looks like crap. Ugh. I guess start with this room. I guess. Uh, tidy Todd's room. Make bed, clean messes. Something about ventilation. Uh, ventilate room. Let's see. Op- urgent tests. Tidy room. Tidy. So those are urgent means immediately type of thing. So this is Todd's room. So can we go in any of the other rooms? No. No, we can. Er- and that must be Alice's room down there. Uh, let's see. We got the bathroom. Uh, wait. It said clean bathroom. Some. 
one. That's an optional task. Yeah, sure, why not? I love cleaning bathrooms. It's awesome. Okay, let's let's get rid of all of this crap. Go, go. Yeah, do it. Nope. I like when you back off when you don't fish. It's it's just weird. It's almost just like eh, I can't do it. Eh, not done. No, can't do it. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, it's a mop. Mop the floor. <laughs> She's like, eh, no, I don't want to do it. Eh, you can't make me. Oh, good. T I'm touching myself. I mean, touching the pad here to clean it. I'm surprised he has the, of a, enough of the materials and everything you need to do to clean the bathroom, you know? Oh, look, spick and span, like I could lick off of it. Ugh. Alright, time to clean the kids' room. Tidy Alice's room. Make bed, ventilate room. What can we interact with? Let's see, bed, window. Really not much here. Let's snoop. Take. Take it. To the bank. Oh, we can't even open it. It's locked. Now. It's not part of our duties, so I guess we should leave it alone, so. Yeah, it looks like she made herself a little fort. I remember when I used to do this as a kid. And now I don't anymore, because I'm a loser. Yeah, breathe out of Detroit air. <laughs> You've unlocked a bit of dialogue or action often beneficial. What's well, required, right? So, this kind of reminds me of Telltale stuff. Rest in peace, Telltale. <laughs> Whoa. Did we just oh I was like, what did we just fling that thing or something? Yay, we made it we made a kid's bed. Time for the tour de tour de force with uh, Todd's room. Alright, Todd. We're gonna take care of your room. We're gonna take care of it real good. Alright, what do we got? Window, T V God, he's got a lot of mess here. Let me guess are we gonna find his porn stash somewhere too? All sports. Another all sport. Huh. Uh, all sports. Uh, God, there's some small dial or small uh, text there. Have androids killed? Ba oh, no, we've already seen that. Is this just another version of that? Android QB or quarterback. Uh, Cyber Life unveils Android quarterback. Slam dunk basketball stat. Gary Gibbon review. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Come on, game. This is why I forgot what PS4 game it was that required like extensive use of the touch screen, and I couldn't get past a certain section of the game for the longest time because my the touch screen feature was like was not done. For, oh, it was like Gun Gal or something, or yeah, Gun Go Gun Gal something like that. I couldn't get the touchpad works so with some of the mini games I couldn't master because it's wonky. Anyway, American football has largely uh, resisted the the spread of Android players with top tier games still an exclusively human affair, but that may be about to change. Following Cyberlace's recent unveiling of technical demo, Quarterback 1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide, the model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays, from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adopted in real time. Looks like almost like the Rock Johnson almost. Quarterback 1000 was revealed at a recent CyberLife exhibition in Detroit, where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding edge technology. Bleeding edge? What are we talking about, Iron Man here? Uh, but while CyberLife's latest innovations have some fans drooling, Roy Kenstone, founder of the anti-droid fan group, sees a sinister aspect. CyberLife knows exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same way they have all uh, have all the others. Despite these reservations, some consider this simply a matter of time, with basketball and baseball already contemplating Android players. An LED sporting quarterback might just be around the corner. Okay, let's read the other article. Ooh, reading articles. Like magazines apparently still a thing. The quantum magnet that could crush carbon from the air. Tech addict. The price of life. How drivers, vehicles make life and death decisions. Space tourism. Is Mars your next holiday destination? Yes, please. I didn't swipe. Uh, stupid internet. Stupid touch pad thingy. 
Uh, the pride of life. Uh, okay. When driverless vehicles foresee an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of the two pedestrians to hit. But the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. How would you program something like that? Martin Forlong of Crown Cars tries to clarify. In these situations, the car's imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in the blink of an eye. This data is passed on, uh, through the public record to determine marital status, employed record, uh, life expectancy, and whether they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim. Oh, that's screwed up. Uh, based on the criteria like their contribution to society. Well, that's almost uh, not Machiavellian. What is that where, where you choose the best of the best and they're the more important people in society? There's a word for it, but I can't think of it at the time. We put a premium on lives that will save other lives, like doctors and nurses. I can't fault them for that, but that's still a little messed up. Uh, all this may sound very reasonable, but Felix Gamble, head of anti ornament uh, Automation League, AAL, says the system has no right to make such judgments. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life. Before Lon dismisses each such claims as, we want our cars to make the best possible choices. I mean, acting on the basis of all information that they can gather. The more the better. Hmm. That is definitely another, like, thing. You're not sure what the really the answer to that is. Uh, pictures or is this guy a hipster? Is he a vinyl? With that attitude, I don't think you deserve vinyl, dude. All right, anyway, Let's see what's that take? Oh, he takes pills. Uh, antidepressants contain oh risk of behavioral disorders. Oh, hmm. it's also got a gun. It's not locked. Oh, good. You have a lot of dialogue or action, often beneficial. Yes, that's not gonna be good. At least the guy in the uh, at least the guy in the first area like locked up his gun, even though the guy who got it was knew about it. But still, oh, it looks like there's more payment. Oh, is that? Uh, let's see, what's that one? Oh, do we find more like red? Oh no, something else. Wait, what does it say? I can barely read it. It looks like a publishing clearinghouse because I thought it was going to be porn for a second, but it didn't. It didn't look like it. So we didn't even get a good look at. It, so I don't even know what happened there. Same middle room, make bed, yeah. So yep. basically, that uh, thing which says the controller up is I actually have to flip the controller up. You know when I do that. So let's see what else we got here. This guy's guitar. Uh, what's the TV? What's on the What's on the tube? She can turn on with her brain. And now to sports. First up, basketball. As the Gears prepare for their critical match with Denver tonight at the CyberLife Arena in Detroit, league negotiations are still ongoing over the possibility of allowing one Android player per season. Yeah, we were read about that. I would say keep them out of the game personally, but what do I know? I don't even I don't even care about sports overall. And then all of a sudden we go to a cartoon or hmm. animation ain't bad on it. I wonder how long you could sit here watching TV before it repeats or whatever. Kind of like if you go to Grand Theft Auto, old Grand Theft Auto games, you can watch the TV for like an hour with content on it. It's pretty crazy, you know, just in total. There might I, actually, I think there was even more than an hour, but looks like kind of like a Leica movie or whatever it is. The people who did like um, uh, Kubo of the Six Strings and stuff like that, or Coraline. I think they did Coraline as well. Kind of reminds me of that, sort of. Oh, okay, it's repeating, so... Next channel. Another 225,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October. According to the Department of mm. Labor... Bringing the Looks like the world kind of sucks, apparently, according to... 
according to, uh, nope, nope. <laughs> now it's back to hockey again. Anything else? I guess we saw all the channels we needed to. The game's like, no, you're done. You're done, son. Um, okay. Oops. Oh, it was for the bed. Okay. I was like, why, why was it? All right. What else we got? Good Lord. So this guy has a gun, takes antidepressants, it owes a lot of money. That is a, that's really setting up for a, a home run there, if you know what I mean. Why well, I feel like something bad's gonna happen here pretty soon. I just have, I just have a feeling, you know. Can we tidy up the guitar? How do you tidy up the guitar? Oh, you just put it so it doesn't get all scratched or whatever. All right, is that the is the bed the only thing left? We already read that, so we can skip that. That just repeats no matter what. Oh, come on. There we go. There you go. All right, looks like we're done with that. Let's go tell Todd how awesome of a job we did. Hey, kiddo. We are awesome android. Good thing we're not android 18, otherwise we would have murdered all the humans. Oh, we have to talk to Alice now. Mm. Mm. Watch it. Sorry, Todd, master. Oh, now we can clean the restroom, huh? All right. Oh, let me guess, he took a massive dump in here, right? At least we didn't have to see it. Good thing she doesn't... I assume they don't have olfactory senses, so there you go. I wonder what happens if you just skip cleaning everything and just go straight to the, uh... Straight to the plot. It probably just skips over it and just you just don't get a few dialogue options and maybe you get... Uh, you get, like... The people get mad at you or something. Or Todd gets mad at you. Hey, kiddo. I have been I have been designated to be your watcher because your dad's a deadbeat. Hello, child. Hello, human a child. No, oh, can I not talk to her? Oh, there we go. I just had to change the camera angle. Factual, friendly, diplomatic. Um, let's try. Let's see what factual does. I'm kind of curious. If you give me some personal information, I could take better care of you. <laughs> Uh. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? No. Okay. Interest? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Uh, oh yeah, where is the mother? She probably won't tell, obviously. She seems too quiet. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? <laughs> wah wah. <laughs> that was not a good choice. She got pissed. What? The hell? Huh. I guess I was just nice enough to her to get a response or get something out of it. Ooh, is my android curious enough to check the box? Let's see what the dialogue says. Oh, it's new instructions, so we don't have to check it if we don't want to. What's in the box? What's in the box? Let's open the box. Why not? I chose the right options, apparently. To get her delicious goo. I mean, or whatever is in there. I don't know. Oh. Huh. It looks like, uh, like, um, what? Well, you can kind of, it looks like it makes music, but it looks like it's probably a picture of her family. Well, you can see the dad probably about the mom I don't know if that's the mom or the daughter probably the mom but maybe it's because we asked about the mom that she gave us the key I'm looking over a four leaf clover that I've overlooked before oh the game's giving us sad music we're supposed to feel something for the child yep okay the dad and probably happier days wife with their child probably something bad happened to the wife to cause him to get all depressed. It's a, it's, it's a sad tale. Now, wh what happened, we don't know, but... Is 
Is that the mom? Why is she? Where is her head coming from? Her head, blood coming from her head. Or is that the child? Or is that me? Do I have a pigtail? Because it's got a. No, that's got to be the daughter. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was. There's angry dad and child, and she's all like. Eh. So does that mean the child beats her? Looks like it beats me too, apparently, because at least according to this, I'm getting slapped. Oh! He wrecked our shit, apparently, at one point. Holy crap. Uh oh. She's in alarm mode. Red. Red sensors! See, so yeah, probably best to put that sucker back before, uh, before uh, Todd gets angry at us. Otherwise, we'll get beat again. Do we remember? Are we just are we the same model? No, I guess we are because he said he got she got repaired, and apparently he got hit by the car, which isn't true. That's how abusive cases work, apparently. All right, let's go report to Todd as much as I don't want to. Well, I mean, most people in this world think androids are not people or or they're just things. So, what are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. Loser. Can't Where's get this job, from, dude? Take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? Dude, she didn't say anything. But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! Whoa! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! Jesus, dude. Calm your tit. God. I'm doing. She's like, ah, oh, don't look at me, kid. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love Jesus. you. This is, is a bit messed up, man. Uh, you guys have fun. Oh, well, there we go. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that the controller makes noises when you when you play. <laughs> it actually has like a little beep thing like when you're doing stuff. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Uh, oh wow, oh wow, we almost did everything in the in the chapter you could do. I wonder what we missed. Well, let's take a quick look. Uh, join Todd. Uh oh, I oh I bet it's because I didn't talk to her when I was cleaning the first floor, maybe or something like that. Yeah, there's a Todd Dallas there, but there's a blank spot there. Uh. Red eyes, activate vacuum, enrage Todd, and then there's another option there, cleaning the first room, but okay. So we get it, did a bit of everything. Let's see, what are these? Kara sees gun. Oh, we saw that. Okay, that, oh. Apparently that's a big thing. Uh, is that spoiling something in the future? It probably is. Oh, well. All right, well, apparently we've done Kara's little thing in a new home. Oh, Alice has warmed us, but the public opinion is still skeptical. So, what's up for the next, for the crew of Detroit uh, become human? Co perhaps Connor makes an appearance? Or the dude from the previous episode? I forgot his name already. Like, we never, no one ever says his name. It's like Wesker or, we or, or Bannon or, I don't know, something like that. Someone, or a new character. We'll find out uh, next time. Next time in uh, part uh, five or whatever it is. So, uh... Thanks for watching me play this. Hopefully I haven't been dragging things out too long. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying this uh, cool, calm version of uh, Detroit. So see you next part, I guess, if I, uh, if I keep playing.